Hi, I am Fritz Outman, and this is video tutorial number three in my video tutorial series addressing advanced overall mechanical execution finalized Outman methodology for pitching a baseball in the vertical plane incorporating advanced the now moment. The topic is constants, consistency, and the removal of slack in execution of a baseball pitching delivery. I have written pretty extensively on this topic, more so than I'm going to cover here at www.outmanmethodology.com. I invite you to visit my site and read that composition. It will probably explain better than I will do here uh, exactly what I mean by slack and its removal. This is another topic that you will not hear discussed in any way, shape, or form in reference to any of the manifold variations on the conventional mechanical approach for pitching a baseball or any other mechanical employee of the human physiology for pitching a baseball. Slack. Slack is what I label as the difference uh, in terms of a muscle or a group of muscles or the range of motion of a joint, the, uh, or the movement, the range of movement of a given bone, I call slack. In other words, we have uh, a relaxed length of a muscle. We have a contracted, I'm just gonna use my biceps muscle here as a, on my left arm, a contracted length of that muscle, and then a stretched length of that muscle. Now the stretched length of the bicep is accomplished by contracting the opposing muscle group, what's well, actually biceps and muscle group, the triceps on the opposite side of the arm. The joint itself, the elbow joint, has this much range of motion. I assign, which is uh, nothing uh, original, degrees to the range of motion, the length of the muscle contracted, relaxed, stretched, or the muscle group, or in the case of a bone, I specifically refer to the scapulae because they can be moved up and down through contraction of the, of the trapezius muscle in particular. That range of movement has, is slack. Those degrees are positional variables, similar to what I, re what I referenced in video tutorial one about linear movement and momentum and the length of the step, the varying lengths of the stride of different pitchers being positional degrees. Well, the slack in the range of move motion in an, a joint, the range of movement of an individual bone like the scapulae, the range of uh, uh, the relaxed length, the contracted length, and the stretched length of muscles. Every one of those has multiple degrees that constitutes slack. Those degrees, those variable position, those positional variables produce a different outcome if they are uh, achieved in execution of a baseball pitching delivery. All those variable, positional variables produce variable outcomes or inconsistency. So without the methodology, I strive to, to create constants because constants produce consistency of high level or high performance outcome. Variables produce invariability or, or produce variability or inconsistency of outcome. And that's one reason why you have such a poor uh, percentage of pitch strikes to total pitches with uh, conventional mechanical uh, approach, to, or, uh, uh, approach to pitching a baseball. Uh, even the, the best major league pitchers only touch typically over a, a, a period of innings 70%. Typically it's 66%, two-thirds of all pitches are pitch strikes. Whereas with my methodology, once you master it, you're going to be delivering 90% plus pitch strikes. And not just flat fastballs, but I'm talking about having movement, uh, late movement, lots of it, sharply breaking movement, late meaning nearer to the batter. Uh, you'll have higher velocity, you'll have much better command. You couldn't produce a 90% and higher uh, pitch, strike, uh, pitch strikes to total pitches executed without having better command. So removing slack, how is that done? Well, I would refer you to this topic 
at my, uh, on my site, www.outmamethodology.com, and I would also refer you to a related uh, composition, The Biological Machine. The human physiology isn't made up of steel, nuts, bolts, and welds. It isn't configured in for a single uh, activity or function. It is a multi-purpose biological machine that can be f configured for multiple tasks. But how it is configured is not with nuts, bolts, steel, and welds. It's configured with muscles. Muscles move bones and muscles move muscles and muscle groups move muscles and muscle groups. So in order to configure your body, you have to use muscles in a certain way. You have to orient your body in a certain way. And that is all relates to my methodology and the uniqueness of it and the absolute superiority of it over anything and everything else that is employed as a um, way of pitching a baseball. So that, how that is done, again, is by either contracting a, a muscle uh, to take the slack out of a joint uh, in delivering the uh, uh, arms, and I'll touch on this later, but I'm going to get a little ahead of myself to show you. Okay, I'm setting up to take signs. I go to set, and I'm shrugging. I'm contracting upper aspect of the trapezius muscles on both sides of my body to elevate the shoulders, and the shoulder joint is made up of the acromion, the distal end of the scapulae, the head of the humerus, the, the, uh, uh, and the uh, clavicle. So you have the proximal head, end of the humerus, the head of the humerus, the distal end of the scapula, the acromion, and the clavicle, this is your shoulder joint. When you contract the upper aspect of the trapezius muscle, you elevate the shoulder, you elevate the humerus, you elevate the, tra the uh, scapula, on, scapula on that side of your body, and when you're shrugging both, you do both, and you're, bringing, you're drawing the scapula toward the this, uh, spinal column, inward toward the center of your body. That takes the slack out. All of this is positional variables. This is a constant. Uh, so uh, that is a way of removing slack. That's one element uh, in, my, uh, in my pitching uh, methodology. Uh, how the rear knee is buckled and bent and rotated inward with the inner thigh muscles and where the weight of the body is focused on the, on the rear foot. As I mentioned in the, uh, I think it was in the two, video tutorial one, about drawing the front pivot knee inward toward the body initially to take out this, this slack. All of this slack, this range of movement from the, the head of the femur in the pelvis, pel uh, hip, hip socket at the pelvis. All of this is removed because all of this is opportunity for a different outcome. It all factors into and imprints on the flight of the baseball, the behavior of the baseball and its flight to the catcher. I'm not going to go into all those areas because I will be addressing that with the actual mechanics. But that is what slack constitutes, my definition. That is how it impacts the delivery. All the movements, the vari variations through it, I remove movement that is unnecessary, that is deleterious, and anything that cannot be determined to be beneficial is deleterious. There is no such thing as a benign movement because the movement creates force. The force, if not dissipated statically, is dissipated dynamically going through the body of the pitcher to the fingertips and it's applied to the surface of the baseball at the release point of the baseball from the pitching hand of the pitcher. So that is slack. Muscles move bones, muscles contract, muscles uh, either help, will we relax one muscle by contracting another, take the slack out of it by, by a contraction, by positioning. It's the muscles that hold the body in position. I'll get into that in more detail in later tutorials. I encourage you to visit www.outmamethodology.com and read more thoroughly on the constants, con the relationship between constants, consistency, and the removal of slack. Very important, unique to outline methodology, as is removing linear movement and momentum uh, before rotational movement and momentum and rotational acceleration and release point of the baseball from the pitcher's hand. Uh, the, uh, I, the removal of deleterious, dissipation of deleterious force, again, all topics that totally do not relate to any other methodology or any other mechanical employee of the human physiology for pitching a baseball.
See you at video tutorial number four.